In this video, we will learn few basic Unix commands. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain a few basic Unix commands in detail with example. We shall look at the following Unix commands. PWD MKDIR CD LS RMDIR RM Touch and Cat Print working directory is called as PWD PWD command is used to find the present working directory as PWD prints the current directory name with a complete path where the one who works with Linux command line PWD command helps to find where the user is that is in which directory starting from the root slash this command is a built-in shell command and is available on most of the shell bash born shell KSH, ZSH, and so on. The syntax of PWD command is shown here. The following are the options and its corresponding description. Logical helps to use PWD from environment, even it contains symbolic links. Physical helps to avoid all symbolic links. PWD can be used without options as mentioned here. Make directory is called as MKDIR. This command is used to create new directories. It can also be used to create subdirectories. The syntax is MKDIR directory name. The following are the options and its corresponding description. P helps to create new directories and their consecutive subdirectories. M helps to create new directories and control the permissions of the new directories. CD stands for Change Directory. This command is used to change the directory and go to the desired directory in the given Unix environment. The syntax is shown here. Here are the examples of CD command. CD command helps to change the directory to home directory, determined by the home environment variable. CD dot dot command, changes the directory to the parent directory. CD hyphen command, helps to change the directory to the previous working directory. Let's consider, if the absolute path was, slash home, slash ABC. And, we were previously working in, slash home, slash XYZ. Now, let's write a command as follows. This command changes the directory to, slash home, slash XYZ. And, the final example is, CD slash. This command changes the directory to the root directory. LS command, lists the contents of the current working directory, or the files in the directory, that match the name, given as command line argument to LS. LS without option, lists only the files which are not hidden. Hidden files usually contain, important program configuration information, and the name of these files starts with a, dot. The syntax is shown here. Let's look at the options, and its significance now. A, stands for all. It lists all the hidden files along with the ordinary files. D, stands for directory. It lists directory entries instead of contents, and do not dereference symbolic links. L. It uses a long listing format. R. Stands for reverse. It gives reverse order while sorting. S. Stands for size. It prints the size of each file in blocks, with L. T. It helps to sort based on modification time. RMDIR command is used to remove the directory or directories if they are empty. The syntax is shown here. Here is the option and its significance. P. It removes the directory and its ancestors. Here is an example for it. RMDIR can be used to remove multiple empty directories at a time as follows. 
RM stands for remove. This command is used to remove the files or directories. RM can be used to remove multiple files together. The syntax for RM command is shown here. Here are the options and its significance. F stands for force. It ignores non-existent files and it never prompt. I. It prompts before every removal. L. It prompts once before removing more than three files or when removing recursively. It has less intrusive than I while giving protection against most of the mistakes. R stands for recursive. It removes the directories and their contents recursively. Touch command is used to change the file timestamps. This command updates the access and modification times of each file to the current time. The syntax for touch command is shown here. Here are the options and its significance. A. It can change only the access time. C. For no create. It does not create any file. D. For date and a string is used to represent the date. It parses the string and use it instead of current time to change the time. H. For no difference. It affects each symbolic link instead of any referenced file. Useful only on systems that can change the timestamps of a symbolic link. M. It can change only the modification time. T stamp means the timestamp. It uses the given timestamp instead of current time, used to change the timestamp of a new file to an old one. Cat command is used to concatenate files and print on the standard output. Hence, this command can be used to display the content of file or files. The syntax is shown here. Here are the options and its significance. B for number non-blank. It numbers non-empty output lines. E for show ends. It displays dollar at end of each line. N for number. It numbers all output lines. S for squeeze blank. It suppress repeated empty output lines. T for show tabs. It displays tab characters. V for no show non-printing. Use caret and M notation, except for LFD and tab. In this video, you learned that PWD command is used to find the present working directory. MKDIR command is used to create new directories. CD command is used to change the directory and go to the desired directory. LS command lists the content of the current working directory. RMDIR command is used to remove the directory or directories. RM command is used to remove files or directories. Touch command is used to change the file timestamps. CAT command is used to concatenate files and print on the standard output. Thank you for watching this video on basic Unix commands.